Earlier this morning, I spoke with Mayor Kathy Onan of Mayfield, who you saw a moment ago in Kate's report. I began by asking the mayor about the rescue and recovery efforts and whether she still has hope to find people alive. There's, all, there's always hope. Um, we, we hope for a miracle. We hope for miracles in the days to come. But um, right now, what we hope for is that our, our surviving people are warm and cared for and have a place to uh, shelter. Tell me about your own experience, if you would, Mayor Onan, as you woke up on Saturday morning. I know you spent the night Friday night at the fire station with a lot of your residents there in Mayfield. What did you see with your own eyes as that sun came up yesterday? Not what I ever wanted to see in my entire life. Um, we had, we could see across the street to one of the banks that has been heavily damaged throughout the night. And then our courthouse is right across the block from City Hall complex. And we knew the damage to those buildings, but that was all we could see. And I remember walking out at 6.15 yesterday morning, and it was, it was just the most heartbreaking thing I've seen. I hope to never see anything like that again. What I did see, though, and I've seen them pop up all over town as I drove around yesterday, the flag, the American flag from our fire station number one, was damaged in the rubble across the street from the bank. I got the flag, I walked across the street, I picked up the flag, and I handed it to two of our firefighters who immediately began to fold it in such that ceremonial, beautiful pattern. And I thought, you know, here we are standing in this rubble, and one of the most important things to us is being so tenderly taken care of. That flag is now safely in my care, and we will fly that flag ceremoniously when we recover. You take those little glimmers of hope, don't you? It says so much about your community. Obviously, Mayor Onan, this is a Sunday morning. Some of those churches were destroyed in your town. Christmas is just here around the corner. Uh, what's giving you and your community some of that hope you talked about a minute ago? Just the volunteerism that sprang up. I, I'm a woman who doesn't get many text messages. And when I topped 2.30 yesterday of what can we do, how can we help, it, it is just heartwarming to look through those. And many people I, I know, I've taught here for a long time, and so I hear from former students all over the United States, Ms. O'Neill, when can we get there? What can we do? Uh, one of the students I taught has just become a policeman in uh, the St. Louis area he, after serving in the military, and he's already here coordinating with our policemen. It, it, the volunteerism, the what can I do, is what gives us hope today. And our prayers, of course, I'm, I'm, I can look here and see our downtown churches who have all been just devastated. My own church, the center section is gone, and we had just had a beautiful Advent service a week ago tonight. And it was three of our churches, and we uh, came together. We started at one and walked to the other two, and all of us commented on we were small, co smaller congregations, and all of us talked about what a beautiful service that was. Could we please do it again soon? We will. Hmm. We will. It won't look the same, but, but we will do that again someday. And I understand services go on as scheduled this morning at the standing churches in your town. Mayor Kathy O'Nan of Mayfield, Kentucky, the country is sending its love and prayers to your town today. Thank you so much for taking a minute with us this morning. We sure appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.